Protesters defy a coronavirus lockdown, throwing Molotov cocktails at a branch of Lebanon's central bank. They're angry at the country's rapid devaluation of the Lebanese pound, and many people haven't been able to access their savings. We haven't seen anything from the parliamentary deputies in Tripoli but hunger and deprivation. The deputies are supposed to protect us. Instead, they're starving us. A day earlier, demonstrators blocked roads and threw rocks at police. Officers responded with tear gas and rubber bullets. Protesters claim live fire was also used. Dozens of people were injured. One man later died in hospital. Lebanon is facing its worst economic crisis since the 1975 civil war. Protests began in October and had petered out in recent months, in part because of the coronavirus lockdown. But the new government's not been able to keep its promise to provide jobs and create economic policies that work. It's having a devastating effect on the country's poorest residents. There's a lot of anger among people because of the economic situation. There's a crazy rise in the price of the dollar. The Lebanese pound has become non-existent to a big extent. And the coronavirus pandemic has only taken the situation to an unbearable new level. Regan Naveen, TRT World. Michael Arnold is from the TRT World Research Centre. He says the coronavirus lockdown has heightened tensions in Lebanon as the economic crisis severely deepens since protests broke out six months ago. Protests, of course, broke out across the country six months ago uh, in October uh, in response to, of course, uh, perceived graft, high levels of corruption and a, and a deteriorating economic situation. Uh, since then, the, the economic situation in particular has, has only gotten worse and has been made significantly worse by uh, anti-coronavirus measures taken, so lockdown in the country, etc. On top of that, you've had a currency uh, collapse uh, who's lost more than 50% of its value uh, since October, and this has accelerated in, uh, in the past week in particular. So what you're seeing now is that actually despite remaining stay-at-home orders, uh, a lot of people in Lebanon have decided that uh, hunger and the ability to actually buy goods for their family is a worse uh, danger to them than the coronavirus. So demands at this point are essentially like they were back in October. So you have a number of, of protesters who want to clean up the whole system. So not only is there a call for the, uh, the central bank governor to resign from the streets, uh, but there's a recognition amongst the protesters that for them, this is not the only issue, that the entire class of, of ruling politicians needs to leave. Now, of course, uh, in reality, that's a much more difficult uh, goal to achieve than, uh, you know, th than, than they may want it to be. Uh, however, this time, you know, the pressure of, of people actually literally not being able to buy food adds another element to the situation that that wasn't present there in October. And so I think, you know, we'll see we'll see this increase in intentions uh, to keep going at this point.